Hey guys, how are you? This is Sudha. Right now I am on the Akayama Hill Temple which is about 30 kilometers from Bangalore. But first let's see how we got here. We started at around 9 am from Bangalore and the weather was perfect. We passed through beautiful farms and found an idyllic spot to have our pre-packed breakfast under a mango tree. My husband and I shared our breakfast with a dog and made our way through the lush green forests of Marasandra. On the way to Chikajala Fort Ruins, we passed through many Banti and Chamanti flower farms and we couldn't resist walking among them. They smell divine. We have now arrived at the Chikajala Fort. Origins of Chikajala Fort date back nearly 3000 years as per the estimation by the Archaeological Survey of India. This fort had a beautiful entrance which was demolished by the government for the construction of high speed highway 9 years ago. Historians and archaeologists say the burial grounds date perhaps back to 1000 BC. Recent history says the fort walls were built during Tipu Sultan's time 1750 to 1799 and they resemble the stone walls of the moat at Tipu's Devanhalli fort where he was born a few kilometers away. The trees growing out of the ruins remind me of Taprom temple of Angkor Wat in Cambodia. These are pillared halls. Both the halls and passage are built of stone. Pillars stand after centuries of decline. Archaeologists are of the opinion that this was never a fort but simply a walled temple complex. The lack of bastions and the fact that the walls are simply not thick enough to withstand cannon fire make it unviable for defensive purposes. This is a living Hanuman temple which was built by Hoysala king Vishnuvardhana and is believed to be 950 years old. We spotted a lot of mysterious carvings on the steps leading down the step well from the temple. This is the most interesting carving we've seen.
I spent a long time observing and admiring these beautiful carvings. This fort wears a deserted gory look with no one to upkeep the historical monument. The architecture has elements of both pre-Islamic and Mysore style art, thus indicating that some portions might have been constructed when the previous structures fell through. All in all, it was a great experience at the fort. Now we are off to Akayama Betta. So Akayama Betta is a small hillock which is about 22 kilometers from Bangalore. Akayama Betta was not part of a plan. However, when we saw the beautiful hill from a distance, we immediately wanted to explore. Upon arriving, it being Dashara time, we were met with a lot of devotees. It was a pleasant surprise. This white temple is Akayama temple and the orange one is Munishwara temple. We rested on the hill for some time and admired the natural beauty around us. Natural or not, I really loved these layers. I walked further up on the hill to find these beautiful boulders. It was a pretty sight. This hill is just spectacular. All in all, it was a great one day trip and I thoroughly enjoyed being here.